With the general election just days away, many candidates are rallying with their supporters across the state and encouraging Vermonters to get out and vote. While many Democratic candidates embarked on a whistle-stop tour from Burlington to Middlebury all the way to Rutland, Republican candidate for U.S. Senate Gerald Malloy shared his story with Vermont veterans and engaged in a sign wave. Congressman Peter Welch and Malloy reflect on their campaigns. We've had all of the campaigning for months and now it's time for people to make certain that they vote. It's been fantastic meeting Vermonters across all 14 counties. Also included in Welch's whistle-stop tour was candidate for governor Brenda Siegel, candidate for Congress Becca Ballant, and candidate for Attorney General Charity Clark. They say it's important that Vermonters share their voices. We spoke to Malloy on Friday. I'm running to represent and serve and fight for all Vermonters, not just, uh, not just a, a, a section of Vermonters, all Vermonters. Defending our democracy, standing up for everyday people, that's going to be extremely important choice that Vermonters make. In a statement provided Sunday, Malloy Malloy wrote, quote, I have continued engaging Vermonters in person across the state. Please let your voice be heard. Former President Donald Trump has endorsed Malloy, though Malloy disagrees with Trump about the 2020 election, saying he believes Joe Biden won the presidency legitimately. I I'm honored. I had a former president of the United States of America call me up. We talked at length about Vermont politics, and he'd offered an endorsement. In a statement responding to this news, Welch commented, quote, The choice in this election has never been clearer for the direction of our country and the future of our democracy. Malloy plans on visiting every Vermont county Monday. Congressman Welch's whistle-stop tour holds significance. When he first ran for Congress in 2006, he campaigned on a train with the same route. Reporting in the newsroom, Isabel Shoneman, ABC 22 News.